so I have another super spicy, dope, banging clothing haul. And I'm going to do this one a little bit different because I have a couple more items than I did last time. So I'm just going to voice over me, uh, you know, showing the clothes. And if there comes a time whenever I didn't film enough footage of me standing there, I'm going to cut to a clip of drunk cash in a cornfield. It's been about a year since I bought some new clothes, so I kind of went out, got a little carried away, got some got some new spicy items, got some new, uh, new wardrobe aesthetics. So follow me on this magical journey of my clothing haul. So starting off simple, you can't go wrong with a nice classic black tee. And I know you're thinking, Cash, why are you showing us a black t-shirt? Nobody gives a flying fuck. These are from Banana Republic. They are made out of recycled water bottles, if you can believe it or not. Um, they feel just like a normal t-shirt. They're super nice. They fit really good. The fit and finish is just amazing. And they're friendly to the environment. Yeehaw sustainability. I've always wanted a super white trash Harley Davidson t-shirt, and I think this fits the bill. You got flames. You got Harley Davidson bar and shield. It just it hits all nine yards. Uh, for my birthday, I bought myself a 1993 Harley Davidson. Um, and I just, I was like, hey man, you gotta throw that t-shirt in. And I did. Also, I'm wearing my, um, Boosted Brad's Death Metal Racing Harley Davidson beanie. It's fucking sweet. I love the fit. It's super warm. And, um, they make good shit. So go check them out if you're into Harley stuff. Boostedbrad.com. This next one's pretty fucking spicy. I really like this t-shirt. I'm not sure the company. I think it's Empire. I'm not really sure. But it's just a real nice fitting uh, gray t-shirt on the back. You got this like tombstone with some sweet ass like scripture on it. You know, some uh, some kings and uh, devils and all kinds of cool crazy shit like that. I love that kind of shit. I got this at... Oh fuck. Oh <laughs> shit. I got this at Calvin Klein in the fall. This is part of their summer collection, but I got it on sale, so I got this t-shirt for $4. But it's real nice. It's got like a silky material, kind of thick. It's just a real nice, loose, airy option to wear. And if you don't like the way that pink looks, you can just, boom, pop an undershirt on that bad boy. And now look at that. You're like a fucking sexy goddamn barber. Hey, man, you want to fade? Let me fuck you up, man. Oh, shit. Bro, that's a nice segue into our next item. Just boom. You got your basics. A nice, slim fitting, thermal, long sleeve shirt. This is a, a great option if you want to wear under a t shirt. You want to wear this under your jacket, keep you warm, tuck the belt buckle in. You're looking real nice, you know what I'm saying? I look like a, you know, you look like a fucking goddamn sexy hunter. Just got done fucking butchering some venison. Time to. Time to throw some wood on the fire, baby girl. You guys saw this one in my stepsister gets stuck in the washer video. This is just a lurking class tee. It's kind of funny. It seems like my whole life I've been waiting for lurking class and suicide boys. My whole life I've been like, man, this, these fucking t-shirt companies just like don't know what they're doing. You know, like I don't want to wear just like something with a big fucking obnoxious logo on it. Like I want something with some like cool shit on it that doesn't look stupid. And I've been like, where the fuck is the music that I want to listen to? I like rock, I kind of like rap, but you know what I mean? And now it's like you got both of the combination. That's where Lurking Class is. Lurking Class is like the Suicide Boys of t-shirts. You know, nice, cheap, affordable, slim-fitting t-shirts with some sweet-ass fucking demons on the back. That's all I really want in my life, you know what I mean? Just some cool fucking designs. And I really hope this shit doesn't go out of style. All their stuff, too, is glow-in-the-dark. It comes with a free sticker as well. So really kind of... Uh, stretches out to your inner child as well I don't think it looks too juvenile either this is a nice option to just like throw on if it's like a hot day on the Harley and you're just going downtown you can put on a lurking class t-shirt and have something cool on your back up next we got a couple options from Empire this is this I got this gray Empire shirt it was on sale for like three dollars I rolled the sleeves up a little bit because the sleeves on it are like down to my fucking elbows it looks so weird I've had that problem with a couple other Empire t-shirts I don't know if it's just like the style but for me, it makes my arms look small, makes me look weird. I just really don't like the way it looks. And this is a medium that kind of fits a little bit boxy or two. This next one kind of has the same problem. But it's a uh, locals only. Looks uh, looks sick. I love the design, but you 
got these fucking like big ass like boxy looking sleeves and I just don't understand the appeal to it man it just looks so weird but the art on the back is so cool and it's like you really can't deny it but I mean just look at the way that the shirt's sitting on me it makes me look fat it makes my arms look like small and skinny I'm just not about it one of those things roll up the sleeves or cut it off or just wear an undershirt something to make it look a little bit more presentable on the body this one here, uh, I'm not really sure of the brand. I think it's Empire as well, but it fits a lot better. This one's kind of cool. You got the 13 Rabbit, Lucky Day, some good luck charms on the back. Uh, definitely nice to have some luck with you when you're riding motorcycles all the time. So might be one of those cool shirts to wear underneath my, my jacket to keep me safe. I needed some more long sleeves in my dresser, so I got a uh, this sweet ass sus boy long sleeve red tee you know the only reason i actually got this is because lil peep has a picture of him wearing the sus boy t-shirt and i thought it was cool the shirt itself is extremely low quality uh super like shitty walmart shirt but the price tag on it said 55 dollars. i got it on sale for 10.99 so it's like you know what i mean one of those things where I, the only reason i got it is because the price and it looked cool up next here guys nothing is sexier nothing is more ski lodge nothing is more hey i'm here to make you hot chocolate and fuck your brains out than a guy in a nice fitted sweater i got this one from h and m 19.99 actually super nice quality i mean it's it's an acrylic cotton blend but it doesn't really shrink in the washer it holds its shape super well and it's actually super warm which you know for 20 bucks you really can't go wrong if you ever gone to like a like a high-end store and looked at their sweaters It'll be like a wool cotton blend that will be charging like $300 for it. Fuck that. Go to H&M, get yourself some some nice sweaters and show off your pectoral lines, boys. This next one was a real step out of my comfort zone. I was finally like, you know, I really want to get a fucking turtleneck. And I did. This one's from H&M as well. It ran me about $17.99 on sale. I got it on Black Friday. But I like wearing it, man. I feel like a fucking captain on a ship. I feel like a goddamn distinguished gentleman you know what i mean I, I, I dig it i got this back in may but i figured i'd show it off because i've never really shown it on a video this is my first manufacturing motorcycle jacket the thing is just absolutely badass it's all leather um really great build quality um really nice ykk zippers you can wear it in warm weather then you can tuck it over zip it up then you're bundled up for cold weather it's got an adjustable belt to keep your uh ass crack from showing when you're going down the road Lots of pockets, zip up sleeves, really, really nice quilted liner, super comfortable. The best $100 I've ever spent in my life. I mean, this thing is amazing that they can pump these things out for the price. And yes, it is real leather. I'm not just saying that. And say you're out on the bike getting robbed. Oh shit, no, fuck you, man. Yeah, you get fucked, boy. Yeah, you can't fuck with me. Internal holsters, it's got two of them. Big enough for a 357 Magnum revolver, big enough for a 1911. It's fucking dope, man. If you're into motorcycles or you just want yourself a nice leather jacket to kind of like spice up your wardrobe, check out First MFG, Pennsylvania company, Pennsylvania workers, better pe better pizza, Papa John's. I'm giving my upper body a lot of attention, but I did give my legs some love as well. I finally caved and bought my first pair of Lucky brand jeans. The thing that's torn that's turned me off about Lucky in the past is just their price. They're asking like 110 for a pair of jeans. I got these on sale for $50. And let me tell you what, they are definitely a superior jean. They just have a much better build quality to them. They're a lot thicker. They're flexible. Really great wash on them. Also, when you take them off and your lady's about to suck your dick, she gets a nice little message that says, Lucky you. Hilarious. I fucking love shit like that. So cheeky. Please forgive my plant room. This is what it's like to have cats. They just come in and they knock plants over all the time. They get potting soil everywhere. They think it's their own goddamn personal playground. And so I do apologize for the mess that is my plant room. These are American Eagle um, skinny ultra flex black denim. Uh, slight. They got some rips and tears on them, but not in the knees, which is nice. If you're planning on getting jeans and they're already like a little bit frayed at the knees, you know, for style or whatever, don't get them because they're gonna fucking blow out and you're gonna you're gonna be out a pair of jeans and they're not gonna fit right and they're gonna look weird I do like American Eagle jeans I just have had issues in the past with them wearing out a little bit too quickly like if I get a pair of jeans that I'm paying $60 for and then in four months they're blown out of the crotch I mean that's kind of annoying but uh, these ones have been holding up pretty good so far 
so we'll see how they go. Coming in last here, I've always wanted to get myself a nice pair of Chelsea boots. I got these from Johnston and Murphy. They were on sale, I got them for $60, but they're suede, I've always wanted a suede pair. Um, they fit a little bit tight, um, I'm normally like a, a I'm normally a nine and a half in like Vans. These are actually an eight, but they fit just about right. They're a little snug. They're gonna break in. They fit good in the heel, and um, you know it's just one of those things. They really break up the monotony of just wearing fucking Vans or my work shoes all the time. So it kind of gives you a little something to spice around with. So I went to a wedding in October, and I was like, I want to smell you know fresh for this wedding, you know, because I'm I was gonna be a groomsman, and uh, I've always wanted a bottle of Sauvage Dior. Every time I go to the mall I always like go to Macy's and spray it on real quick. It was $150 for a bottle but you're gonna get thousands of sprays out of this thing. It's one of those things too where I have cheap cologne and that I like the smell of but you spray yourself a couple times in the neck and then within like an hour you're like okay I, I can't smell it anymore. But with this one here you spray a little bit on and I, I'll do the laundry like a week later and I'm like wow this laundry smells like Dior <laughs> so trust me you go with a Sauvage Dior you'll like it everyone else will like it it's a you really can't go wrong with it but that's gonna do it for this video guys thank you for watching me wear clothes and be boring for however long this video took to make and yeah we'll see you around if you uh, if you have any lost dogs in the area that need homes uh, don't let me know because I don't have the room for them but I could probably ask around for you. Okay, bye.